So these black Hebrew Israelites, where do you encounter them? Everywhere. How, how Everywhere come? I go because what they're doing is, is they're really, really spreading and we are underestimating them. We are definitely underestimating them. The underestimating what? The power of them. We're, you mean the wickedness? Yeah, the big time wickedness, yes. Big time wickedness. Violence? Violence. Hate? Hatred. Uh, racism. All that stuff, you know? And I'm, I'm, from, I'm from South Central Los Angeles. I used to be in a gang and all that. And when you really, if you are really into Hashem, you're not going to spread hate. That's just, it's contradictory. And another thing is, everybody want to be Jewish. You think so? I, oh, I know so. And then on top, this is the main thing. Though. I want to tell these people, we're not the chosen people because God, Hashem made us different. No, it's because the Jews accepted mitzvah. That's what makes us different. Accepted the commandments from the Torah. Exactly, which is mitzvah. And that's the difference, was the acceptance when all the other nations said no. They didn't want it. So that's the difference. So I think people really need to understand that because what people do is they feel there's something, oh, they're the chosen people, and they get all, you know, crazy inside, which I can understand. But the understanding they have is not real. It's a myth inside their minds. Also, one thing I want to cover, when we talk about the bloodlines, okay, there are, the Ashkenazi Jews are real Jews, okay? Their bloodline matches even the Limba in South Africa. Those are real black Jews, okay? They're real black Jews. Their bloodline matches Jews all around, matches, uh -huh, matches Jews all around the world, okay? Again, the Eskenazi Jews are real Jews. When you guys are talking about that 13 tribe book, by the way, that's been debunked. It's not even true. Who talks about that? Um, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. You mean Christians or black no, Israelites? No, 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 no. Not the black. Well, the black Hebrew Israelites, they do bring that 13 tribe book up. They, th they think they're descendants of the original. Yes. They, black people, African Americans, not just black people, they think that they are the original Jews because of the prophecies in the Bible. Now, I will say, a lot of prophecies in the Bible do does seem like it may be talking about them in certain aspects. However, it's not. It's been debunked, and it's been debunked prophecy by prophecy by prophecy. And we we'll, we'll talk about that later. Because I'm a little. <laughs> uh -huh. When you said that you were you born in a Muslim family? No, my my family were um, Christians, and I accepted, took my shahada. I accepted um, Sunni Islam. That was my first faith, and then. After that, it was Christianity, and then I found out through my Ethiopian and okay. this and that. Yeah. Okay, so w w when you were Muslim, were you in a black Muslim community or no, just... No, no, no. I was never uh, with the Nation of Islam. No. I have cousins that were, though. I was never in the Nation of Islam. I was Sunni. Um, all our brothers and sisters was of all nationalities. Pakistani. Pakistanis, Asians. Asian, Arabs. Arabs, white people, black people, it didn't matter. So, right. do, do they hold any enmity or hatred for Jews or Judaism? No, not at all. You don't think? No, not, not the ones that I was around, no. However, I will say there are a lot of Arabs, blacks, even white people do hold a lot of animosity toward Jews, and I really don't understand why. Everybody's trying to say Ashkenazi Jews aren't the real Jews. It's a, it's a lie. Uh, a lot of people are saying, uh, well, their their animosity is only directed towards Israel or Israelis. Right, because yeah. they say occupation. Yeah. But at the same time, that's not even true. I mean, before that, it was even Judea, right? Right. right. So... Palestine was also you made. You mean up. the West Bank is, is Judea? Yes, exactly. Yeah. 
Right. So, but, but the, the uh, animosity which they hold, which they claim is directed towards Israel, you feel that that's a manifestation of their real uh, resentment that they may have for Judaism? Most definitely. Of okay. course. Yeah. It definitely is. Why? You know, I think it's because one thing about Jews, so small, still survive, still strong, speak, spoke a language that was almost dead, that was resurrected. Yeah. Jewish people are just amazing. Baruch Hashem, Hashem holds Jews in a certain way because they are the light of the world. So, you think people are jealous? A big time. Is that what it is? Oh, most definitely. People are jealous. And the thing I hate, well, I loathe, shouldn't say hate, but I loathe is that if you want to be a part of the people, then convert. Anyone can convert, you know? Now, it will be diff very difficult. It's very hard because I have a rabbi, a wonderful rabbi, conservative rabbi. He's amazing. And but I feel more towards the Orthodox way. That's just what I feel in my heart. However, convert, you know? You don't have to, you know, people want to be Jewish without doing the work. Do people discriminate against you for black? Oh, big time. Big no, time. I mean, say in the, in the Jewish, Jewish faith. Oh, not at all. No, 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 no. You're no. welcomed? I'm very welcomed. When black people tell me that and they say, oh, um, I know you have problems with with, with the Jews, no, it's not true. You just got to be, a, I'll say it again. Tolerant, you have to, they have to know that you really want it. However, they don't discriminate like people say. I, who doesn't? The Jews do not, Ashkenazi Jews do not discriminate like people say they do, not at all. I get love all the time. And I just wish I could speak more, because I can't, like I said, what I want to, what's in my mind, is hard for me to say audibly. But no, that that is a myth. That is a myth. It's a lie. You think that the church or the the mas, masjids are uh, making, uh, trying to vilify the Jews because they're afraid that people might leave for Judaism? I mean, they're concerned. You, I, I never thought about that. Is that a possibility? That is definitely. It sure is. It's a big possibility. Especially, like, I listen to Rabbi Skobek. Oh, he is just amazing. Michael Skobek, Jews yes. for Judaism? Yes, Michael, Rabbi Michael Skobek is amazing. And the way he breaks things down, it just really, really lightens my heart. Because he, he tells you in, in a way you can understand simple it's, it's not that hard you just you can't fight it also you cannot look at things through a christian lens you a lot of people do that when it comes to the messiah they look think about the messiah but in a christian lens you can't do that you have to look through it with no bias or anything like that and you will find out who well we don't know yet but the mishak is coming he has not come yet, though, but... Ari, thank you very much. No problem. Very good. Very good.